in this video we're going to have a look at some further partial fractions but in particular partial fractions where the combined fraction has a square bracket on the denominator so take this one for an example so we can see that we've got x minus 7 x minus 2 on the top x minus 7 x minus 2 on the numerator over x plus 2 and x minus 1 all squared and this one with a square bracket causes a bit of a twist so separate them out into separate factors the first factor is x plus 2 so the first factor in the dominant is x plus 2 the second one x minus 1 squared but there's a third factor that's hidden away in that x minus 1 squared. The third factor is just that bracket without the squared. And that's the extra bit that you need to be aware of when doing these. Okay, so moving on to the next step, multiplying by this denominator here, multiplying by x plus 2 x minus 1 squared. So if we multiply both sides by that, the denominator disappears on the left hand side and on the right hand side we see that if we multiply by this the x plus 2 on the denominator will cancel a x minus 1 squared the x minus 1 squared will cancel here and here one of the x minus 1's will cancel so we end up with the x plus 2 still being there and the x minus 1 still being there. So all's well so far. So the same as before, we're going to look for tactical values to sub in so that terms disappear. So let x equal, well here I can see if I sum in 1, this bracket's going to disappear. So let x equal 1, which means that, so 1 minus 7 is minus 6, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, equals, subbing in 1 there, it's going to disappear, 1 minus 1 is 0, here 1 plus 2 is 3, lots of b, and here 1 minus 1 is 0, the whole term is going to disappear, which means that minus 6, or rather positive 6, it's a double minus, equals 3b, which means that b equals 6 over 3, which is 2. So the next tactical value I can see if I sub in minus 2, then this here is going to disappear. So that means that, okay, minus 2 minus 7 is minus 9. Minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4. Equals, so minus 2 minus 1 is 3. Minus 3 squared, which is 9. Minus 2 makes that disappear, minus 2 makes that disappear, which means that 36 equals 9a, which means that a equals 36 over 9, which is 4. But unfortunately at this point it becomes apparent that we've ran out of tactical values to sub in. So the next best value we can use really, I think, in my opinion, the next easiest one is 0. So let x equal 0. So we get minus 7 times minus 2, which is 14, equals, okay, a times 0 minus 1 squared, so that's just 1a, plus b, 0 plus 2, that's 2b, plus c, 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 1, 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, C. But we also have values of A and B, which makes this easier to do now. 14 equals, well we know A is 4, plus 2 lots of B, 2 lots of minus 2, or rather 2 lots of 2. Take 2C, which means that 14 equals 4 plus 4, is 8 minus 2c which means that take the 8 over the other side 6 equals minus 2c 
which means that c equals 6 over minus 2, which is minus 3. Therefore, concluding, the partial fractions that we want are 4 over x plus 2, that's a over x plus 2, plus b, which is 2 over x minus 1 squared, then take 3 over x minus 1. There's the answer. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.